Welcome to the Salmon River of Idaho. This is the longest river in Idaho, I believe. At least uh, it stays completely within the state. It's also one of the premier wilderness rivers in North America. The Salmon River is noteworthy because it's completely unregulated and undammed for its entire length, and that's something of a rarity in the modern world. Uh, the Salmon River starts in the mountains of central Idaho near the Sawtooth. I've done a couple videos from there. Uh, and it actually has a very circuitous route. If you look at a map, it flows to the north uh, along the base of the Sawtooth, and then it turns east, heading for the town of Chalice, goes north for a little ways, and then it cuts west. And we're in a section here called the Main Salmon, which is a westward flowing section of the river. Uh, beyond where we're gonna run on our trip here, the river flows west a little north and eventually it joins the Snake River and flows, and then the Snake River flows out to the Columbia and then the Pacific Ocean. And this Salmon River, uh, we're on a section called the main part of the Salmon River and we lucked out, my wife got a permit this year, so we're rafting a about 78 mile section of river. You can see some of the big cliffs over here. These are some of the basement rocks that this part of the river cuts through. Precambrian gneisses and schists, what we call basement rocks that are about 1.5 to 1.8 billion years old. Uh, these rocks are all high grade metamorphic rocks that form uh, deep under the earth. Uh, they make up the core of Western North America. They're sort of the oldest rocks you find in that area. And these are intensely metamorphosed rocks, rocks that form by high temperatures and pressures. Uh, they've been squeezed and they're foliated, which means they have some banding in them. And when we get to camp later, I'll probably find a nice spot to do a short video to show you those rocks up close. Uh, but I wanted to focus this section on the Salmon River itself. Um, the Salmon River uh, has, in this section we're running here, has several rapids. Uh, several class four rapids and a lot of class three rapids. We're kind of hitting it in late July when the water levels have dropped a little bit so it's a little more manageable. Probably also do another video further downstream uh, explaining how rapids form and we'll even probably do a video of running a rapid so you can kind of get the boat side perspective of what this looks like as well. Um, the Salmon River is actually pretty young. We're, there's a lot of research being done on like how this river evolved, where it flowed over time, and um, also its, its age. And it seems to be a pretty young river so far. So we think that all this cutting of this deep canyon took place over a relatively short period of time geologically, maybe a few million years. Um, and it probably flowed in other directions at other periods of time. And so that some of that research is being done today uh, in different places. Um, so we're going to run through the first section here below Corn Creek. Again, cuts through these Precambrian metamorphic rocks. As we go further on our trip, which is a six-day trip, we'll eventually cut through the Idaho batholith. So the Cretaceous age, about 90 million year old granites or granitic rocks that make up sort of the core of Idaho. Um, the, the, we're within what's called the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness. So this is the largest roadless area in the lower 48 states. There's forest roads in here but no paved roads and it sort of forms the the core of and or the heart uh, both geographically and sort of aesthetically of this part of Idaho. So just wanted to share a little bit here as we start our journey. I'll try to do a couple more videos as we're on our way and big shout out to my wife who's running the camera today. Thanks.